For this assignment, I chose slack space. I believe I chose slack space because when we were sitting in class and he was going over it, that's when the light bulb clicked for me and everything came into play and made sense. Um, I've been around a computer my whole entire life, but it's amazing to see how very little I actually know about computers. Uh, you might be wondering what is slack space. Slack space is any space left over between the last byte of the file and the first byte of the next cluster. Um, sometimes it is referred to as file slack. How files are stored. Files are stored in clusters. A cluster is eight sectors and the cluster is 4096 bytes. If a file is 5 bytes, there are 4091 bytes that are not being used. I don't know about you, but that just seems like a lot of wasted space to me. Deleting files. What happens when files are deleted off the hard drive? Are they really gone? In most cases, they are stored in the recycle bin. Unerased files. Slack space can contain deleted files. These files can be retrieved using several different programs. A few of the programs are File Recover and Windows Undelete Software. So if you're spent all this time on the assignment and you accidentally deleted it and you're stressed out and you look like the man in the previous slide. Um, don't fear because you might be able to get one of these programs and pull your, your file up. Um, Windows Undelete Software is the leading software for file, reco for file recovery. So if you accidentally deleted something, I would definitely look into Windows undelete. I wish I'd known this um, over the summer. We had been working on a paper and it took several, several, several hours. And um, about a month I've been working on the paper and my children accidentally deleted it. And you would think my father, the IT, would have told me, you know, there's a program out there that I could have retrieved my information, but he didn't. So I ended up having to do it all over. But then, I mean, in the end, I made a good grade on it, so everything was good. Overriding files. Um, when considering getting rid of uh, the computer, um, you might want to think about getting rid of all your files, especially things that could lead to someone stealing your identity, <clears throat> credit fraud, uh, Identity fraud, etc. Um, files can be removed using window washer. Even after transferring all the files and overriding all your files, um, there are still some programs that can pull up files that have been overwritten. In my opinion, this works towards the good and the bad. Like. To the good, you know, because if some guy comes and dumps his computer when the cops show up, the cops are able to uncover that information and put him in jail. It also works to a dentist's advantage because someone can get your information and possibly steal your identity or use your credit card or things of that nature. This time I'd like to say thank you for your time and your